Hey there. I like to thought I'd just do a little quick walk. Floating staircase I'm building in the shop. It's about a hundred and gosh, what is it? 134, 134 and an eighth, I think. Uh, inches tall. But when I build these, well, I'll show you. what I deal. What I, when I build these, I first of all lay it out on a piece of lumber. And it's different when you're laying these out for a floating staircase because you're not literally cutting. You know, normally you're going to cut a stringer and do that with your steps. But here you have to lay out, or at least I do, because I lay everything out in full size. I use this part of the wood as, as referencing the beam. That's about four inches. <coughs> but I, there actually is another two inches below this if you figure the full width of the beam at six inches or the height of the beam because I'm using a six by eight, but I'm turning it flat. So it's eight inches wide. So what I do is I, I, I lay it out, get my distances, have to calculate where my pedestal placement is. These, these lines right here are like where my pedestals go, and so I have to work all that math out. Down here, I think somewhere I drew one. Yeah, I drew one right there. So that's kind of the way it would lay out, and then the, the, the little line right here represents my uh, 3 8 plate, 3 8 by 6 plate, and the bigger box represents the customer's going to put 2-inch thick treads on it. This is a very steep staircase because it's going to a limited access area, which codes will let you get by with a, a steeper pitch if it's, I think, less than 500 square feet that it's accessing because it's, it's considered limited access. It kind of falls under the uh, some of the, I don't know, just odd codes that are out there that you have to. So the treads on these are like eight and three eighths, eight and a half, something like that. So I weld these up. Like I said, I got a six by eight beam. I put a, I've got a four by six pedestal. And this is three sixteenths material. This is three sixteenths material. Then I put on uh, the treads, which are three eighths by six. And these are two foot long. They're only gonna be uh, 30 inch wood treads on here, but you can use this to go up to about 36 inches wide with a three eighths plate. Um, I've welded. I've welded the outer seams, and when I weld these, one of the things that's kind of pretty critical to do is you have to weld like low, then you go on the upper side and go high, then I come back to the middle. You gotta really go back and forth on this on this welding so you don't literally twist this beam or put a big arch in it. Uh, they have a tendency to arch ever so slightly just because you're putting a lot of weld down, but you can mitigate, mitigate that a little bit by keeping it cool not getting it too hot in one spot i've still got to go in i'm getting ready to lay it down i've got to go in and weld the bottom weld i don't weld all the way across the back i'll, I'll go in there about an inch inch and a half it's just you can't it's hard to get into it and it's not necessary and it's, it's kind of tucked up in there once you put the wood treads on it's not really visible uh but i will weld underneath uh the plate here and what i do uh so sometimes it's really hard to get, I don't know, cutting these pedestals. You get a little variation here every now and then. So I put the pedestals on, and then when I lay the plate up there, I literally will put two levels. I'll put a level here, and I'll put a level over here, and I'll make sure that the tread is level this way first, then tack it, and depending on which way uh, this needs to tilt, I'll either weld the front or the back. Sometimes, most of these I've had to lift up just a little bit on the front, to get this level here. So, uh, and that's just accurate of saw cuts and things like that. Even though I've got a good LS saw, it's it's hard on, on my particular saw anyway. I guess if I had a lot bigger saw, my saw, I'm using an LS model 1600, which is a great saw, tremendous saw. Uh, but I'm sure if you had a, a, a double beam saw, something that came down just super straight, but sometimes these, in the beams have actually, Sometimes these beams are a little concave. They flex a little bit. Um, and so you have to, it, it just, you, sometimes your saw cuts just aren't absolutely dead perfect. But they're close. I mean, they're real close. And when you put them on there, uh, you just have to tweak a little bit, and that's fine. Uh, it doesn't affect the overall appearance or anything like that. It's just some things you have to do. Uh, any tweaking you have to do on that, you, you're going to cover up with, and fill them with weld. So I've got it laid out all the way. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit... Of course, that first step is short because I don't have the wood on it. But it's not a bad climb. Um, 
it's just a steep climb and what they're going to do is put uh kind of put rails on there it's almost like it's not as steep as a ship's ladder uh but it's pretty steep so there'll be some grab rails that the customer will put on this staircase um, when they install i'm not installing this i don't have the manpower to install staircases that i build but i can build them and get them on your trailer and you can come pick them up you, all you need is about six strong back guys to put one up they're pretty heavy but you can carry them straight in your house and as long as you got a way to lift it up there once you get it up to the height it just goes up right to where you need it to go with those throw a couple of bolts in it it's good and then I've got base plates. That weight is sitting on there just to, it, it was just keeping it really level. I shimmed it. My concrete floor wasn't perfectly flat. So I, I wanted to make sure I shimmed it to get it level. And so that's why that weight just sits on there. But now I'm getting ready to do is take it down and lay it flat. And when I lay it flat, I'll weld all the other welds up in a flat position. But this makes sure all the pedestals are on. I just do it. it this, I mean, it's structural, but I just do a downhill MIG run on that with a regular uh, 35,000 MIG wire. And we'll get all that. But on the top, what I do is I, I, first of all, once I know my height is, then I just use a couple of pieces of inch and a half tubing or two inch tubing, whatever you got laying around the shop, but I use tubing. And I use the crane to lift it into place. And once I get it exactly to the height, I just pull a tape measure up there. And once I bump it into the right height, I just clamp my, my safeties on here and I always put a plate at the bottom. Uh, I'm not gonna be running up and down this stair. I've done staircases where I've had to climb them a lot while I'm building them, especially if they had a lot of railings and stuff with them. But sometimes I do the railings, sometimes the customer doesn't. So just, I think they may be putting some cable rails on this. So they'll probably be ordering some posts and things like that in the future. So that's kind of I just wanted a little walk through on a floating staircase. I really like these. They look pretty cool. I've done a few of them now. And uh, every one of them comes out a little different because the customers put different kinds of wood on them. But I love it with the two inch treads. When you put two inch wood on top of there, they just look really cool. This is gonna be a natural finish. I'll wire wheel it off, wipe it all down with linseed oil. Got a little surface rust some here and there and I'll wire wheel that off. Uh, get her all cleaned up and just really linseed oil it is all it really needs if it's going to be inside the house it's not really going to be a rust issue so just wanted to kind of show you where i was at on this i hope to have this finished up by tomorrow i'm getting ready to lay it down weld some more welds today probably weld the treads on finish welding them on tomorrow they're, they're all the treads are tacked on i've already got them in place so they're 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 there they just got small tacks once i flip it over i'll get those welded on good and you can see sometimes the little gaps and stuff you get there. But all that's going to be covered in with weld. The main thing is the treads are level. And that's what you've, you've got to give your customer a good level surface to bolt their wood. Now, I put four holes on each side so they can, when they put their wood on there, they can run. You know, there's a variety of bolt, ways they can bolt those on. So, anyway, that's a floating staircase. Have any questions? Uh, just drop a comment. Uh, you can always go to my website, joebrownblacksmith.com, and look around there. Uh, I don't have any floating staircases on there, I don't think. But you can always contact me through the website, that kind of thing. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. It is a nice second day of March. I mean, it's getting ready to storm later, I think, rainy. But, but it's uh, overcast. But temperature's nice, just a little, a little thick humidity. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Take care.